Okay, we're getting ready to make the coils for the GANS containers. So we have a 14 gauge wire and it's going to be on a 3 8 inch rod with the drill going in reverse. And we stick it between the jaws of the chuck. Yeah. Stick it in reverse. Times. It seems to be what, about an inch and a quarter? Approximately. And then you can count them off when you're done. There you go. Run it up a little ways and do it again. They're done. You need to check it when you do it off. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't have to be exactly 18, right? No, when we're making the capacitors, we try to be a little more exact. Alright, so I'm going to do a little quick video on how to set up the trifecta kit, but for individual GANs. So it came with different um, kits. One is to make the zinc zinc. Uh, I suggest that you use cups that have a clear side, if at all possible. No ridges. I just cut the base off of another cup to make a stand for it so that it wouldn't topple. So for the zinc zinc, you're going to use your nano coated zinc plate. It's the one that's a little more gray. Put that in one side of the cup. You'll use your zinc plate. That's a lot more silver. All right. Put it in the other side of the cup. Let's get this a little closer. And then use your alligator clips to connect the two. And just make sure that you clip outside of the container so that the clips don't rust. That's it. And just make sure the two aren't touching each other and that they're not touching the bottom because you don't want them to touch the GANs on the bottom. Fill it with the salt water. I use one half cup salt in one gallon of distilled water to make about a three and a half percent, which is about like ocean water. And you would fill that to the top with the water. Alright, so this is how to set up the CO2. Let's make sure that this is adjusted. It comes with the nano coated copper coil, the zinc piece, and the alligator clip. Again, I use a nice, clean, smooth sided cup if at all possible. I make a little support to kind of hold it upright so that it doesn't fall over. 
keep it steady. Put the nano coated coil in, make some adjustments here, and the zinc right across from it, and then connect the two with the clips. Now um, that will make a high zinc, low CO2 mixture. So if you want to make more CO2 and less zinc, then you would use the LED light. So I put two clips in, and I want to come over here to this page where I have the information about the LED lights. And the way that I remember it, um, this is a three-page document. I can post the link below. But this is a copy of Kesh's drawing where he's talking about how to hook it up. So I had to switch these to have them fall the same as what he has there. The way I remember it is that the, the cathode, the cat, has a tail or a flag, whatever you want to call it. And the shiny metal flag or tail goes to the shiny bare zinc plate. So you can hook it up that way where I have the little flag on this side. I probably can't see it on this, but believe me, on this side is the little flag. And so I'm going to hook that side to the zinc plate and then the other side to the nano-coated coil. And then you would fill it up again with your water I usually put the half cup of salt in hot water first to get it good and mixed up and then fill it the rest of the way with the distilled and then you would fill it up to I'd say about here you know where it's ab above the coil um, again you don't want your metals touching the bottom of the container you don't want the metals to touch the GANs as it forms kind of short things out and stop the process so as long as they're suspended in there and then you have the salt water to the rim. Another little trick I thought I would try to use up less of the clips is to I just cut one of these in half and then stick the LED light in the two ends of the wire. Now it doesn't stay real super good. I have to clip the end of the wire and fray it a little bit and then um, hit it with a little bit of hot glue and that way it stays in there. You're ready to go. Okay, this video I'll try to show rather quickly the CH3 and the CuO2. The CH3 has a piece of chicken wire and the nano coated coil. Again, you connect the two with your alligator clips. I connect the clips always outside the container because otherwise they rust like crazy. And then fill it with the There we go, with the um, salt water. Same concentration and percent as the other ones. And then the, the CUO, let's see if it's showing. I have the, oop, I'll keep it on the same side as I've been doing. The nano coated coil on one side, the copper coil on the other side. And then connect the two with the alligator clips again outside the container and then fill with salt water up to you know just above the coils and make sure that the coils are not touching the bottom because the GANs will form down there and you don't want them floating in the GANs to short it out. I use uh, kosher salt to see how the lighting is here um, just because it's pure salt it doesn't have any um, 
fillers or preservatives or anything of that nature and it's inexpensive at the Dollar Tree. I always you know heat up a little bit of my water first to mix the salt completely and then I'll put it into basically the rest of a gallon of distilled water and use that.